Here we got the kit. This will all go on this Jeep. It's a computer. Throttle body. The adapter plate for the throttle body. High pressure fuel pump. Should run about 13 to 15 PSI. O2 sensor so the computer will know how rich the mixture is. I don't know, that sure looks like a lot of extra stuff right there. Huh. I wonder if I'll use all that. Fuel filter. Hose. Gonna replace that. And that. All this fuel line. Don't need that. Gonna do away with the fuel pump. Got a plate to block that off. We'll just take it out. It takes about seven horsepower from the motor to run that fuel pump. But didn't know that. Uh, gonna leave the vacuum advance on the distributor just like it is. You can see that there. We'll leave that alone. Got his own wiring harness. I guess no time like the present. Time to get started. Start with the uh, basics. Fuel line undone. So gas doesn't run everywhere. It didn't fold that up, get it out of the way. And do the fuel linkage for carburetor linkage for the accelerator. Put the vacuum line off. Power wire for the choke. I'm make sure the key's off. Because that's a hot wire as long as the key's on. If the key's off, it's no problem. Undo the vacuum line for the distributor. We'll keep that because we're going to reuse it. Leaves us a plate here. We're going to use a different plate. We're not going to reuse that one. We're going to reuse this vacuum line. And we'll reuse this vacuum line. More in a minute. Now we're going to take the fuel pump off. The mechanical fuel pump. Discard this, we don't need it anymore. And while you're at it, disconnect the negative battery cable. You don't have to worry about it. 
arcing anything, especially where we have the fuel system open. We put this plate there where the fuel pump was. Like I said, that fuel pump, mechanical fuel pump, takes seven horsepower, approximately, seven horsepower to run. It's got an arm that reaches in there and runs off of a shaft in the motor with an eccentric cam on it that turns that pump. Which robs horsepower. For doing this, all we have to do is tighten those up. That part will be done. We'll put the uh, adapter for the uh, throttle body. Clean the surface off real good. Put the gasket under. You don't need any silicone. Any kind of adhesive on the gasket, just put them under there dry. Gotta remember this is aluminum we're going into here. Fit the uh, throttle body on top of that. And we'll just put the throttle body on the adapter plate. Pretty simple. Set the Start them by hand. It's aluminum we're screwing into, and don't want to drop your socket like that. If you're not real proficient with the impact, I'd recommend doing this by hand. And it's on there. This will probably, I'll have to check the diagram to see where, which vacuum line is for what. Let's see what it is that one. And probably something for emissions, which can be done away with. As long as y'all don't tell the government. Okay, now we're going to mount the fuel pump. Got the line that came from the old mechanical fuel pump. We're going to do away with that. We're going to cut back, I don't know, we're going to go back 18 inches. Try to mount the pump down there on the rail. We don't really want to mount it to flimsy sheet metal like this fender because it'll probably get noisy when it's running. We don't want to hear it running. We're going to mount it to something a little more solid, maybe secure, su su suspended in some rubber, something to keep it from making too much noise. Uh, we'll probably 
get it all set up before I record because I'll probably get mad and say some bad words. So uh, I'll wait till I got it all in ready to go and then I'll video it so you can see kind of what I'm doing.